Now to discuss this is Grillen Petit, a journalist with Euronews' French service. Uh, thanks for your time. This was very much a plan, keeping an eye on the gilet jaune, wasn't it? Yes, after a seven-month yellow vest crisis, the Prime Minister's decisions were very long-awaited indeed. This move comes at a time when the protests have become less and less strong recently. But still, uh, Edouard Philippe had to give them something. So he confirmed a five billion tax cut, uh, which represents 350 euros for 12 million French. Uh, but at the same time, the government uh, does not give up on his reforms. Take, for example, the pensions reform. Uh, it's really unpopular, especially among the blue-collar workers. In France, you will be still able to retire at 62, but there will be incentives to work longer, something the yellow vest protesters would not agree with. Uh, it seemed to gather quite a lot of support yesterday and there's another vote coming today. Uh, does he have people with him in this plan? Yes, a large majority gave the Prime Minister uh, confidence yesterday, which is a relief for him because uh, over the yellow vest crisis, uh, his position uh, has been quite weakened. Uh, so in a way, his authority has been uh, restored, but it's not over. Uh, this morning, he will face uh, no confidence vote at the Senate uh, held by the right party, Les Républicains, uh, who fell in the polls. Uh, and remember that Edouard Philippe is a former Les Républicains, so maybe it would be the opportunity for him to have uh, support from some of his former colleagues. Well, thank you ever so much for that update, and we'll be following that vote later on today.